next thing is to put the put the bridle on which holds the hammer and the sear to the lock plate put that on and tighten the pit pins up then the last thing to put in back in is the mainspring and the mainspring just goes in the, there's a roller on the one end of the spring that goes against the back of the hammer and with a pair of pliers you can uh, squeeze the spring compress the springs move it around and the pin on the end of the spring drops into its hole in the lock plate and then the lock's complete. The only thing you have to do then before you assemble, reassemble the gun is to cock the, ha the, cock the lock in. In other words, push the hammer back into the cock position. You can do that with the side of a screw, a turn screw. That, that's complete. Now, the next move is to put all the mechan mechanism back in the in the action. The first thing to put in is the all the lever work. The top lever. Slide the underbolt in, and then the spindle. Now the spindle, it can only go go in one way. You can't get it in wrong. It has a foot on it which goes into a, the one side of the underbolt uh, under and you can only put it in that one side. There's a square on the other end which fits into a square inside the boss of the top lever. Now, so we just slide the spindle into into its position and this one goes together very, very easy some of them you have to drive them in because the the square on the lever on the spindle is tight in the boss on the lever this one's this one's an easy one and you can just with a with a with a drift or a punch just knock it Knock it into position. Some of them you have to really dr get a, pun a punch on them or a little rasp punch so you won't mark the bottom of the spindle and dro really drive them in hard because they, they, this, they're a tight fit on the square. And that being in place, the next thing to do would be to put in the, the top lever pin. And you like it's it's a lit you can't mistake it for anything else. It's a little shallow headed pin and it's a different thread to the rest of the rest of the pins in the gun. Tighten that up. You can So screw it up until it start becomes tight and then make, making sure you've got the right size turn screw finally pull it up with the right size turn screw Now when that's screwed up, you can then put the lever spring back in. Now, that's a use for that little 
tool I made up. This one's not going in very easily. There we go. The little pin on the back of the spring which goes in a hole. At some time this has had, it appears though at some time this has had a replacement. There was another hole nearby. Well that's the lever working place. Now we've got to put the cocking levers in and the, the cocking levers and the slides and the, the little cocking lever spring. Get the slide on there first. But with all these things, if you if you come across one you haven't seen before, it's always better better to study it and find out how it works before you before you start doing doing it anything to it. Then the easy way here will be to put in the putting the cocking cocking lever in. Put the cocking lever pin in place. That's the left hand side one. And there's the right hand side one. Put that in place and put the little spring in afterwards. Now the little spring will slide in, I can push that into place by pushing along with underneath the cocking lever. There we go. It's in place, it all works. The slide pops out when they push the lever up. Springs in place. That's it. Easy when you know how. Okay, now I've got the two cocking levers in, the slides in, everything works well. The next thing is to put the, put, the, put the striker or firing pin in. That just slides in the hole, in its hole, and the Put the little securing screw in place, back in place. 